everybody. Welcome to Three Songs Live. I'm your host, Kim Boyko, and I'm here with the one and only Ghastly Dipper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dipper is our youngest guest to date at the age of 16. Fantastic. Thank you. But, uh, but she's an incredible guitar. You've been playing guitar for how long now? Um, going on six years in June. So since you were 10? Yes. Pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> So, if you don't know the format, we've got three questions for Ghastly Dipper, and she's going to play three incredible songs, original songs, and uh, yeah, you'll check her out on social media, hopefully. You have, what, Instagram and... Yeah, Instagram and Facebook. All right, okay. Yeah. So, but we'll put links and stuff for all of that. Anyway, all right, shall we get to our first question? Yes. <laughs> of course. Okay. Our first question is an either-or question. So, you just pick one. Uh, now, knowing that you are a fellow horror movie fan, as my husband and I are, um, Freddy or Jason? I like Freddy's sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He's got a nice looking sweater, so I'm going with Freddy. <laughs> Freddy is my personal favorite, yes. so I'm with you on that 100%. But, I mean... I just like the ridiculousness that is Freddy Krueger. Okay, fantastic. A good man. Well, just kidding. No, yeah. no I know. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> A bad guy. <laughs> All right. Well, just tell us about your first song. Okie dokie. So this one is called um, Take Me Far. I'll probably change the name because I'm really indecisive with names for songs. Okay. Um, and I just choose a line from the chorus. And it's probably what everybody does. Um, uh, so anyways. <laughs> Uh, this song is basically just about like, you know, I'm in the woods and I'm running. But you can interpret it however you want. It really doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm like... Okay. Go for it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Take me 
Creepy vibe, go with the Ooh. Ghastly Dipper yes. name. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so we're going to get to our second question, which is, uh, you get to pick either on this day in history or on this day in my science class. On this day in history. You got it. Okay, so uh, let me just get to the question here. On this day in 1906, the most violent U.S. earthquake ever recorded hit this California city. So you can just kind of pick a California city. <laughs> I you'd think I'd know more about California because my cousin lives there. I don't know. This is also 1906. Oh so yeah. Mean, you can just pick a city that you think may have been affected by an earthquake. I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> San Francisco? What? <laughs> San Fran, boys! <laughs> that was the best reaction to a question ever, by the way. Uh -huh. So, future guests, you got a lot to live up to here. All right. <laughs> so, Dipper, why don't you tell us what the next song is? Okay. All right. My voice cracks a lot, and I apologize for that. Don't apologize for it. It's there, fantastic. There he goes. Bye. All right. These next... This next song, I lined them up wrong. This next song, um, what I'm shuffling around with are lyrics because I'm terrible at memorizing things. Um, so anyways, uh, this next song is called... That was, uh, uh, how do you spell that? I, uh, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> uh, this next song is, um, I don't have a title for it yet. All right. Uh, like uh, but it includes uh, some codes in there. Here, shout out to my boy Gravity Falls, my favorite show. It has a whole bunch of codes in it, so now I'm like obsessed with solving codes. And I put like Morse code in here. Oh, yeah. um, and I put there's like a part where it's like a Caesar cipher. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Taking off my bracelet. All right, all you other musicians out there. <laughs> all right.
I promised I would make it But I wrote it in my head Then swung the bottle down to break it And I hopped aboard a boat to sail away And float abroad But I feel more like I'm drowning And I hope and pray to God Tracks to eliminate the sea But my head and heart are split apart To make sure that there's benefits for me And my heart wants to hold me back But my head wants to take a crack And I ask them not to cut me some slack Because I know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing I think I know what I'm doing I guess I know what I'm doing I have a clue what I'm doing, 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 cheating a little I'm reading it as she's singing it and I'm just like holy cow <laughs> that's pretty darn incredible so oh, uh, thank you so Gorilla Bob said to call the song we o we o <laughs> I guess was in response to the I don't know to the, yeah um Glenn Hulk said uh dope chords oh thank you Glenn uh, Aunt Donna said my niece you rock girly oh thank you <laughs> oh and uh Bob wants you to uh he, Bob said that you keep spelling out Gorilla's Rule in Morse code, which is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hi, Sandy. Hi, uh, Carolyn and, and Stacy and whoever else is watching. Awesome. So, if all... Oh, yeah, she's petting the moon. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> I've been doing this for a while now. Yeah, yeah, you just couldn't Good see boy. it. Good boy. All right, so, um, if these lovely viewers want to see you again in the near future, aside from watching this video on repeat, where should they go, or, or what do they do? Okay, ah, uh, this Saturday, uh, I'm playing at the Water Rich. Um, I think, oh my god, what time? Oh, holy crap, uh, se seven, I'm playing at seven. <laughs> Um, and it's, oh, there it was, another voice crack. And it's for, uh, um, a, um, like, um, uh, like breast cancer survivors oh, wow. and stuff like that. So it's like an art show and, um, I think I'm opening up for them. Fantastic. So I'm really excited. So thank you at the Water Witch and stuff like that. And if you're around that area in the Highlands, um, come and say hi. I'll probably scare you away, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, speaking of, of scary things and scaring things, uh, we'll get to our third question, which is a strange personal question. Now, I may or may not be cheating on this one a little bit because I already know what I want your answer to be, but um, <laughs> a strange personal question for you is, when was the last time you made a, a young child cry? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so 
Um, I went to a zombie walk a while back in Metuchen, and for those of you who don't want, yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, I really, I love cosplaying, like dressing up and stuff like that as different characters. Um, and normally I only dress up as like teenage boys for some reason, because they're always my favorite characters, but this time <laughs> I decided to dress up like a scary kid-eating clown. Um, I went to the zombie walk, and uh, I was, you know, walking around, and there was this kid on the bench with, uh, with their mother, and the mother goes, look, look at the funny clown, and then the kid turns around and just starts bawling, <laughs> and I, f I think it's great, like, don't get, like, don't, like, don't quote me on this, like, I mean, it's funny, right? Oh, yeah. You're dressed up like a kid eating clown and now yeah. a kid's crying on a bench yeah. and uh and then somebody else told me you know i wanted to turn around and now i do this thing where i can do this thing with my what i just repeated myself i do this thing where i can like drop down deep with my voice and i do this at telemarketers when i get them to go away <laughs> um but i wish i could have done that at that at the time because when i went into whole foods just to walk around <laughs> um as pennywise for no reason at all whatsoever just because it's fun to scare people um, the girl working the counter, um, said, your voice is too nice to be Pennywise. And I was like, sorry, I don't sound like this. <laughs> like, sorry. And it's, I don't know. I wish I could have learned to do that voice then. Well, and now we all know, if you're going to dress up as Pennywise and you want to scare some people in Whole Foods, please make sure you <laughs> practice a very deep, scary clown voice. <laughs> Although Pennywise's voice in the movie, not that scary. Yeah, just he just kind of he just kind of giggles around. He's yes. a happy boy. Precisely. Hey, we have somebody from Florida watching us. Thank you, Sandy, and actually someone from Texas as well. My uncle Frank. Oh, cool. Very sweet. All right, cool. So, what's the third song? This one is called Eight Twenty One Seventeen, um, and it's actually the date the eclipse happened. Um, <laughs> yeah. It eclipses the moon. My boy. <laughs> you know, I didn't plan this, and now I'm really happy that the moon is in the background. Pap, pap, pap. <laughs> I, I, never mind. Um, so anyways, this song is called A2117. Um, and it's basically about the eclipse and stuff like that. Um, and how, uh, you know, when people probably first saw the eclipse, you know, they probably just stared into the sun. And now people are smart. Well, and they don't do that. Some, well, some, some people. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is that. Mm, okay. <laughs> In case for memories erased, Valentine, sun and moonlight create a perfect paradigm. Creeping time upon a windowsill makes it hard to pulverize between your eyes. It's a shin bullet, makes it hard to see. High museums document certain times. Surely, what's inside their cream toned papers recognize the whole they've got to see. Hold it tightly, don't let it go.
ridiculously talented. I wish that I had an ounce of your talent at 16. No, Fantastic. Thank, thank you thank so you. much for coming all the way to Metuchen. Wow. Uh, talk, about, talk about Whole Foods. Bob Kern <laughs> is, is still talking about Whole Foods, by the way. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we also had a viewer from Georgia. So thank you so much, Patty, from Georgia. All right, cool. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you support the Ghastly Dipper because, I mean, this ridiculously talented musician oh, she's no. gonna be huge and oh, uh, i'm you. so glad that you were here so oh, thank, thank you so much you. bye mr <laughs> <Ren>. <laughs> thanks guys let's see you next week thank you